Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today is DIY Saturday, um, room makeover weekend. <laughs> um, I just got done putting together this, or recovering this little bench um, that I'm actually going to use as sort of like a coffee table. Um, if you guys didn't see that video, I will link it below. Um, but I just posted it a few days ago, so you can go check out how I basically brought this little table back to life. Today, however, we've got a very exciting project and also a little bit, um, gosh, I think I can say intimidating. Um, you see this lovely renter's beige wall we have behind me? Well, I'm about to completely change that with the help of wallpaper from Spoonflower. So if you don't know about Spoonflower, um, they're also the ones that printed this gorgeous large scale gingham. Um, they have thousands and thousands and thousands of different prints for you to choose from. And they obviously do everything from fabric to wallpaper. They have different kinds of fabrics. Um, so there's really, I mean, endless amount of opportunity when it comes to decorating um, when you use Spoonflower. So here are some samples of the wallpaper. I was torn between this one with the mint background and this one with the white background. But I thought with the beige wall, I didn't want to do the white because I thought the white would clash with the paint color. And since there is like an adjoining corner, um, I just didn't want that to be weird. So I decided to go with the mint. I think it's super, super cute. Um, obviously I picked the color of the gingham from the print here. Um, and the way that the wallpaper works, there's two different kinds. You can either get one that is basically like a giant sticker. It's like a, a wall decal. Um, and it's like contact paper, you know, completely removable and repositionable. The other kind is one that's a little bit more like traditional wallpaper. It's still removable, but from what I saw from other people who have used it in the past, it does leave a little bit of the glue behind. You would take um, like a wet sponge and wet the back of this, then you would fold it in on itself and let it kind of like let the glue get really tacky. It's called booking. Um, and then you would peel it off and stick it on the wall. So some of that glue does stay behind. And I don't know, whenever you're moving out, the last thing I want to do is like wash walls. So I thought, well, I will try the, um, the like more like a sticker kind. Um, and hopefully that will just come off with no residue. I couldn't find any evidence or any blogs or any testimonials or anything of anyone saying, um, one way or another how the like sticker version came off like how that looked um, so I figured I would go with that the prices are a little bit different and the sticker one is a little bit more expensive so I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hoping that the extra cost will serve me well in the end and I will have less cleanup that's how my mind works um, so that's what that is I think this is more samples let me just double check here Yeah, so I got a couple more samples. This was before I decided on that print. Um, this one is smooth wallpaper. So I think this one's like the sticker. Wasn't this one cute too? They seriously have so many prints. I went in and just typed in floral and I think I got like somewhere in the teens, like 13,000 results or something. It took me a really long time and a lot of different like um, photo collages to determine the one that, that I liked. So here's the, um, and this one's called woven wallpaper. I think that woven must be the sticker. Yeah. Because it's clear. Yeah. So woven is the sticker and it does have a bit of a texture to it. Kind of like twill does in a way. Very subtle, but, um, yeah, there's definitely a texture to it and you can hear it. So that's what the woven is like. That's the sticker kind. 
and then the one where you have to use the water is smooth and there's like no texture to it at all. So if you're a texture person and you need something super smooth, then go for this. If you're looking, I, they seemed as easy, one seemed as easy as the other to put on. Um, so we'll see. I am going to tackle this now. I'm going to record myself doing it. It's kind of like a first impression, but also a bit of a like, DIY noob like hopefully this doesn't turn into a Pinterest fail and everything goes as well as it can it looks really easy on spoon flowers um, YouTube page so fingers crossed that my creative thumb also translates into um, applying something onto a wall so here goes nothing I'll see you on the other side so the very first thing it says is that hanging wallpaper is a two person job, but unless Sunny is going to help me, I'm all I've got today. So we'll see how this goes with one person. If I start to have a lot of trouble, I will call Amber or Abby in for help. The next step is to re-roll it so that the, it says so that the top is on the outside. So does that mean that the, hmm. I would think that it would be, why don't they roll it that way for you? It's confusing. Okay. I think I'm doing it. Right? This is right, right? Okay. That's the top and you know it because there's no um, like white line or seam or anything. So that's that, it's fairly easy. Obviously these are only two feet wide, so I had to get multiple. I think I got four. Um, so they'll go boom, boom, and boom. And then there's a little space above the door that I wanted to try and get. Um, any leftovers I can use for like drawers or maybe some artwork or something. I don't know, I was trying to think of some cool ways to reuse it. Anyways, moving right along. Also, doesn't it look so pretty? Just hanging there. Um, you're supposed to, aha. I hope that there isn't like an order or a rhyme or reason to which one gets hung first. So, in anticipation of that possibly being a problem, I gotta open this one and see what the print looks like and if it looks like it will match up. I can't tell if it's just repeating. Yeah, it looks the exact same. That's cool. So no matter which one you start with, it's always gonna be seamless. Awesome, okay, that's all I wanted to make sure on that. And then I need, this little guy is gonna help me smooth out all the bubbles as I go. I really want it to be, that doesn't look like that's going to go well. Okay, let's start over. I guess that's the good news about the contact paper kind, is you can just start over. So I really want it to be in this corner, nice and tightly, and it wasn't. So I also don't know if these walls and ceilings are completely level or squared off. So that could be part of the problem too. So I definitely don't want to put it on and have it <laughs> start to go that way, you know? Okay. So I think this ceiling's not level, not square. Hmm. That's really not a lot better. Now I wonder if I should put a portion of this into the corner and then trim it off. But this is what I feel like they do with real wallpaper. I 
can't really put it around the corner because I'd have to unpeel all of it to do that. Promise me y'all won't watch my videos and only look at this one corner and say, oh, she hung that wallpaper crooked. <laughs> I also feel like once you get started, like that was the hardest part and the rest of this will be simple, easy. All right, the first strip is completely down, all the way trimmed. I wanted to show you guys up close what I did whenever I got to an like electrical plate. This one's for internet maybe um so i have two more of them it looks like i'm gonna have to do this same treatment on each panel that i do but i just wanted to show you the way that to get the cleanest finish in my mind um is to actually remove the plate itself um and then cut a hole into the wallpaper almost like whenever you're making a welt pocket you know how you cut down the center and then into the corners so that's what I did and then I pulled the plate through that hole and then adhered the wallpaper around all sides and then put the plate back on top. So I'm going to show you how I did it with this one um, but just wanted to talk you through it first and show you how pretty it is in the end. Gorgeous. I'm going to put a sofa here so it's not even like anyone will ever really see it but if I ever get rid of the sofa or move it for any reason it'll still be nice and pretty but I'm really happy with how the first strip turned out it's so easy you guys super super simple to do yourself um all you really need is a step ladder to get up to the top it's not like super like into the corner like I wanted maybe like an eighth of an inch off but I think from far away no one will ever tell I really love it okay trucking right along all right, so the next step is to overlap this one with this one by three quarters of an inch. So I went and marked ever so slightly three quarters of an inch every few feet on this one just so I could keep it lined up going down. But supposedly, if you do that, you will have a perfect um, seamless design and you'll never be able to tell where one piece starts and another piece ends. Okay, so it didn't end up being three quarters of an inch. It's like half an inch or less. Three eighths of an inch maybe? Let's see how it goes when we get down this way. Okay, so I have run into a bit of an issue. Um and I think I know how to fix it, but basically, in order to get this piece lined up over here, I'm creating bubbles going vertically, starting midway over, so I think this whole side needs to be shifted up. And I don't know if that's because, like, the three quarters of an inch that they say that it overlaps isn't where the pattern matches and that's why I'm, what I'm overcompensating for or if it's the wall like the ceiling isn't squared off I'm not exactly sure but I think if I peel half of this away maybe more and lift it higher I can overcompensate and get all those bubbles out on the bottom wonder 
if this stuff stretches out, you know, as you keep ripping it off, is it gonna stretch out on me? Now I've got another one right here. Which I, it makes me think that, you know, like if you were, as if this were like a dart, I'm using like sewing rationale here. I don't know if that's good or not. But this is almost like as if it were a dart and you just need to move the excess up into the rest. But it's not really as simple as that. Okay, I mostly got them all out. really a skill set for people that do this for a living more power to you okay so this is what it looks like whenever you unscrew it from the wall you know obviously you have your screws here unscrew from the wall and this whatever this is whether it's this thing or that thing or these things are going to be connected to something on the other side of the wall that's their whole purpose of being there so this one i actually think i could remove like unscrew this and this whole plate would come off um but if i can't get it to do that then all i'm going to do like i said is adhere all the wallpaper till i get to here then cut a hole that matches this down the center and into the corners and then feed this through that and then slap it back on top Okay, quick update. I was able to get the plate off of this one. So now all I have to do is feed that little thing through the wallpaper and that's it. This one's going to be super simple. Okay, so here's my little outlet hole all through here. First, put it about there. I'm going to come up about a half an inch down, poke into it, cut down like so. to finish all of this before I uh, worry myself with that in case there's any bubbles that I need to get out. So there you have it. You just screw the plate back on and you're as good as new. Um, also, I don't know, I don't think you guys could see this in the last video but basically you um go to the bottom and you you know press it all down until you get into your little baseboard and then you need an exacto knife or like some really sharp blade and you just run it along the edge and um trim off so i'm getting about i don't know a few inches of extra every time like that's what i cut off so it is pretty um accurate and efficient in terms of what you buy because you buy the roll based on the number of feet that you need. So I have nine foot ceilings. So I ordered nine foot wallpaper and they end up sending nine feet plus whatever that little bit is just to make sure that you have enough. So that's really helpful and nice. Um, and you can see the seam. Can y'all see the seam? But as you get further away, it becomes less obvious. So I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Um, I've got one more panel to go plus what I'm gonna do just above the little doorway there just to make it one complete thing. And I've got a light um, switch, which unlike these, I know you will see. So I don't know what's going on back behind there, if I'm gonna be able to use the same technique I used here. So we will see once I get that thing pulled off. 
Okay, easy peasy. It looks like this one and this one are going to be even easier than these two. In fact, I would say this one is the hardest, even though it looks the least like it would be because I couldn't unattach the plate from this little cord thingy. So I had to feed this whole thing through the hole. You saw how this one went. This is just going to be simply cutting as you can even see where the plate goes. So it'll just be cutting a square out of the wallpaper about that size. Um, same thing for this one here. You just cut out the wallpaper, you know, about that size, just trim it. So these are going to be super simple. So excited. Okay, I don't know if it's just practice or if this is a better roll, but this is going much better than that one. Like everything's matching up and I'm getting no bubbles and it's going down like in a snap. This is only a wee bit nerve wracking, cutting a big giant hole into this. Oh. You just wanna make sure that you don't over trim. You can always cut more off. You can't add it back. All right, so this little bit is annoying. When I was measuring, I was so pissed that I knew I was going to have this little doodad left over that I'm going to have to cut around. So I'm just going to try and take my time and do the same exacto knife method that I've done at the base of all of these, which looks pretty good. So let's see how that goes. <coughs> if it goes well, I might try and do that little itty bitty sliver over there that's like four inches, but I might also just not do that part. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so now what I wanna do is cut away all of the excess. I think that that will be easier and it'll lay flatter. So if I just cut around the door. Again, slightly terrifying moment here, but that's okay. Okay, I just wanted to show you what is going on here with the door frame. So I have trimmed it away even more than I did originally. And then when you get down to the bottom corner, I cut a slit, like a diagonal slit into the corner. And then I'm using the little thin side of the tool they gave me and just making sure to get in there really nicely. And then I'll take the X-Acto knife which is where, right here. Hi, Sunny. Hi, Sunny. <laughs> he doesn't like this project. He wants my attention. Anyways, move it, move it, move it. I'll uh, take the X-Acto knife and run it just right along this edge here and then all the way down the door jam or the door frame. And I think I'll get a nice, crisp, clean finish there. Wish me luck. And there you have it guys. I'm all done. All in all, it was a really easy project to do. Even though I hit a couple of bumps along the way, they were easy to resolve and I'm obsessed with the final outcome. This design is called Indie Bloom Blush Florals, and I'll link the exact product in the description box. I strongly encourage all of you to give this wallpaper treatment a go. From bold, colorful designs like mine to more subtle ones, Spoonflower has something that will work for any room in your home. 
don't be intimidated, just go for it. Don't forget that Spoonflower has generously created a coupon code exclusively for my viewers. Use the code inside the hem 10 for 10% off your purchase through the month of August. You'll be seeing this wallpaper from now on in all my videos, so I really hope y'all like it. Until next time, bye!